and uh, I'm just in love with it. Game mode has been working great. And now you see Twiz for the North Americans on your cam. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to the Europeans and jump on board with Gunshi, who was hot earlier in the week. And uh, I want to actually hear how the Europeans are communicating right off the bat on their breakout here. So we'll go ahead and listen in right identified. off the bat as this first hard point activates. Really two of us in there, man. Get in the hard point. Get in there. On top there. I don't know from terrorists. Dive, dive. Well, I'm running the hard point. Guy, okay, but, uh, coming in mid, coming in the mid. Have a guy bottom mid? Yeah, bottom, yeah, yeah. Grand shot on the back from bottom mid. Ah, behind me, behind me, behind me. One shot bottom mid, another rock. There are two behind us, two behind us. He's in there, he's in there, he's in there, he's in there. Okay, man, hold this, hold this, get in there, he's in there. Well, one more you can identified. So the Europeans there communicating effectively and they actually take a huge substantial lead. They've done a lot right there as we saw Nice. Nice was doing all sorts of work there on that objective and he picked up a couple crucial kills that allowed him to get quite a few more points on the board for the Europeans. And now we're on board with Quantum, as you see in the lower left part of your screen on the nameplate. And now Quantum is going to go ahead and throw a grenade here on the bridge. And it looks like this is actually a, co a contested hard point. Now, you can actually be below or on top of the bridge here and still capture the hard point as Quantum does go down. And we see Nice is kind of just hanging tight here. And uh, he is trying to just stay on this hard point for his team. He's in a good position as his nade comes in. And he does pull off some nice shots right there, but doesn't get the kill. As we see a nice spawning back in, it looks like the North Americans now have control of that objective. We'll jump on board with Ray, who's on a three kill streak here. And Ray actually goes down. We'll swap again to Toby, who's on the objective. He gets taken out. Now we'll jump on board with Karma. Karma now getting a care package coming in. He's actually going to get a death machine here. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and pull out the combat knife. The combat knife actually does allow you to run faster. Oh, actually, that's not a death machine. That is actually a turret. So that turret is going to do some work. He's throwing out a shock charge as well. Double shock charge over there in that corner. Picking up the hit markers with that shock charge. Getting a UAV assist as well. And a shock assist. Got three UAV, ass UAV assists and a shock assist. And basically a quad assist speed, if you want to say that. And so this turret doing some work. And look at Karma just doing all sorts of damage to the Europeans as the North Americans have now taken the lead by 20 points. And Karma has managed to stay alive on that objective for so long. And nades abound. Come in and take Karma out. It was Raiden Sprag who managed to take him out. And now Ray takes Karma's spot on the objective. So the North Americans is doing a great job of rotating the objective play. And let's see if another jumps on it. Doesn't look like anybody has. We'll jump back on board with the Europeans. It, we're in the eyes of Swanee now. Swanee with the Type 25 trying to aggressively get over to this new hard point. Looks like the Europeans do manage to get it. Swanee now with some nice hip fire there for the kill on Big Timer. And spots another. And another with the three piece. Can he make it four? No, he cannot. But a nice play there by Swanee to secure this choke point for his squad. Pulling some shots there off his spawn. And now 72 to 58, the Europeans coming back in this game. As we take a look here on the map, it's a fierce battle for this control of the turret building. And Swanee with a great job right there as well, picking up another two piece and throwing a Semtex there. Swanee coming up massive for his team right now. A minute and 59 seconds left to go. The Europeans have now taken the lead 76 to 75. And there you see Swanee picking up some nice shots again with that Type 25. Coming back around, he's just controlling this room. Great job by Swanee picking up another kill there. Is another player going to breach? The hard point has now finished off in this room. And now the North Americans have been on that next hard point. So they actually take the lead back. And now we take a look at the picture in picture. Merc is on the objective with Ray for the North Americans. The Europeans really have to get there and get control back quickly. They did do a great job in that top turret building, but now this hard point is here down 
in the pipe, and it looks like Merck's going to get taken out. So a 20-point lead for the North Americans. There are about 70 points available on the clock right now. The Europeans have gotten control again, but both two players, Shane and Nice, get naded off by Ray, who made a huge play. We're on board with Gunchy now, picking off Twiz, and the North Americans are in control. So this is desperation time for the Europeans. They're going to have to get this as it looks like Toby takes out Swanee and Gunshi, and that is not good. And we have to see some action out of the Europeans right now. North Americans are doing a great job picking up the kills and controlling the moments around this objective. But look at this. We just saw five Europeans jump on the objective, and they're going to have to take out the one North American who's on it, and they do manage to do that. They do actually have enough time, it looks like. They have to control it. They have to control this objective the entire time if they want to come back and now you see it is contested and there is enough time for the europeans this is going to be an extremely close game here folks they have to find that north american who is on it it looks like they're gonna have to get him off right now and i think the north americans just won it this is going to be so close at the end actually can we see a draw here what is going on two points for the north americans as they win this one Great job by both teams there. So close. As we see Twiz on the final kill cam. So the North Americans take that last one by two points. Great sportsmanship by our team, teams here. And that's going to call it, folks. You see on the scoreboard, Karma going huge with a very positive kill death ratio for the North Americans at 23 and 11. That was probably the difference maker.